Alright, so just a quick update on what I've done. So as you can see, I have applied textures and lighting, and, uh, and I've done a lot more in you know, the model itself. So I've applied new windows to the side of this building. Um, I extruded it out uh, using the inside of these t uh, these three here. I just extruded these three out, and then alongside it came out along with it. Um, and I just applied them. I didn't have to apply the material because it was already applied to it, so it kind of just did the work for me. Um, I had made a new roof tile using the ba the base color of the brick texture provided by Bl Blender themselves. Um, I fiddled with it quite a bit. Um, I changed the color to like a little brown because it's more fitting to the game itself that I'm making. Um, more fitting with like a darker tone. Um, I've got black. I think it's just it does look a little moody, but that's exactly what I want. Um, you've got the the the, the lighting. Um, I know it looks like a ball at the moment, but what I plan on doing when I when I export it onto Unity using FBX files is putting a smoke um, a smoke VFX over it. That should overlap the the general shape of the sphere that you see here. Um, so it'll be it'll all look work out in the end. Um, but yes, I I had a lot of battling when it came to texturing. So because what I did at first um, was if you go here yeah I did a lot of fiddling a lot of fiddling with textures and just oops uh, let's just pretend that didn't happen um, but yeah I was just doing a lot of fiddling trying to figure out what on earth I needed to do um, but what I end, ended up with because uh, as you can see here I tried I used an, X, an FBX file of a brick um, just to see how I can actually apply it, um, and it was just incredibly difficult. I learned three things. So you add the displacement. Well, you first off with the color, then you add that to the color, the base color area. Then you've got the displacement, which I was just learning how to do. I never actually successfully accomplished this. You've got the roughness, which you actually apply um, from the color over to the where is it? Um, roughness here, um, and then you've got. The, what's this called? the normal map that you go here. So, but in the end, it didn't end up working because the issue I had was aligning it. Because I'm not a professional when it comes to UV mapping, um, and I did have a lot of issues with the tutorials I was trying to find. I mean, I had one tutorial on YouTube telling me, "Oh, just press one button and the next, and then it'll be all straightened." No, <laughs> it's not like that. Uh, it was just, I thought exactly what he did, and what ended up happening was it ended up making every single square on here, um, like, wrap itself in a sphere, and so the texture was just a bunch of circles, so it looked like it was being absorbed by a black hole sort of thing, um, so what I just... I went to the brick texture. I played about, played around with the mapping here. Uh, as you can see, I rotated it by degrees. And if you see here, um, okay, well you can see it's barely moving. But yeah, see, look, it moves. Now that is because I was fiddling about with it, and I managed to make it horizontal. I'm very happy I did make it horizontal because I think it looks a lot more professional, or a lot more to the time, should I say. Uh, so that's kind of what I did here. Okay, I just ruined the top of the roof. I love doing that. Don't you love breaking stuff? Um, yeah, let me just fix this. What have I done? Okay, fixed. Um, but yeah, it's it took a lot of fiddling, um, and now that I've got the that sorted, as you can see, if we render it, you can even see that. show you it. No, it does not. Blender, render, there you go. Um, yeah, so that is, the, it's kind of perfect for the tone that I'm going for, because it's dark. And the lighting, it's almost perfect. So, now that I've got this, I'm going to work on the corner store. It's going to be a little less posh, 
Um, I mean, well, there'll be mixture. It's going to be a mixture of different financial um, buildings or architecture. Because, you know, you've got... There's going to be one tower, which will be really posh. And in the middle is going to be a bit of like a middle-income house sort of thing. So just a standard vertical Edwardian or Georgian house. Um, so it's basically going to be half the size of this with like one window. Maybe like two windows and a door. Um, and that would be it. Um, then on the other side of it will be the paper store that I plan on adding. And that, that should be... Exactly, okay, well, yeah, it should be exactly what I plan on making, um, referring to the sketch, the awful sketches that I made. Uh, but nevertheless, I have something to go off of, and I know what I'm doing, and um, after learning these, that the brick texture is the best way to go when it comes to efficiency, I can just use that. I'll probably use this exact color and texture, and maybe this exact no node, um, for future usage, just to save time, because um, I've noticed that the best way to be efficient is to go off of things that you've known, that you've learned before, and expand on it, sort of. So you never know, maybe I'll make it a darker color, or maybe I'll make it brighter, but I highly doubt I'll make it any brighter, because I'm still trying to go with the set tone that I've decided to go off of. But nevertheless, progress. <laughs> Definitely a good ending, I think. I'm very happy with the way this turned out. Uh, you never know, I might adjust it a bit more by the time I implement it into Unity. But until then, this is the finished product of render number one for my game, The Rossin is Light.